is this, a matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunt in the question tonight. With a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 15 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Simpsonville, South Carolina, presenting the challenger, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. Russia. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu-Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck, doing everything. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. 
Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just out of range with the big right hand. Wonder Boy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. He's so educated. He's so able to fight from both fighting stances. It won't take many of those. He lands an outside leg kick of his own. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Big knee lands right to his opponent's midsection. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, nice jab. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big kick. Oh, Father Ray liked that. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. His head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Single collar tie now. Big knee land. Oh, lands that punch. So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs. And in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Take down here, he gets it. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Rips the body there for good measure. Just missed with the left there. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So for him to secure that knockout early, he has to feel good going forward. Oh. 
just out of range with that right hook. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are, because it's dangerous. But there are a lot of outs, and if a person isn't very understanding of that, oh, nice. Oh. And the turn on the elbow, he's gonna chase the submission finish. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. Great, nice way to finish. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, we still hurt. We come out, this is the game plan. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I mean, get the bonus checks ready. That was insane. It's done. These guys are taking home. There, the seminal blow of the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Watch knees to the body. Oh! Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow! Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots to the top. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these types of transitions. You can tell he's been in the key at some point in life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Game of inches right there, boy, wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, collar tie. Boy, Ty Plump. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Thompson. Massive head kick. Oh! He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Another shot lands upstairs. Another strike. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. And what a round! Wow, 
right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, and nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Thompson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice kick. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Tags him with the uppercut. Misses with that punch. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Back to the overhand left, no good. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just misses with a left hook there. <laughs> Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, shot. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 52 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by So the celebration is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner by knockout. And what a way to send a statement to the rest of the contenders in this division that it is going to take a monumental effort.